All right, guys, this particular video is in case you're considering doing a podcast as a part of your Genius Hour project. A podcast is ultimately kind of like a, think of it like talk radio, um, but it's hosted online and there's different episodes. Like if you can imagine when you're listening to the radio in the morning and you're driving into school or whatnot and you're listening to the radio station and they kind of have the you know, the, the hosts talking back and forth. And if you could go back and you could listen to those, that would kind of be a podcast. Um, typically, they're designed by particular subjects. Um, I would really highly suggest that if you're going to do one, that you know what they are. So I would suggest that you go to tunein.com, which is where I'm at right now, um, where you can listen to all sorts of trending podcasts right now and kind of get an idea of, okay, what is a podcast? Um, what exactly am I getting myself into? Am I comfortable with this? Am I capable of doing this? Of course, you're capable of it. But if you click on podcasts and scroll down, then you can look at, you'll see that they're kind of organized by trends. So if you wanted to look at, um, listen to some art and culture ones, um, comedy, education, fantasy, or, or sci-fi, um, food and cooking, all sorts of different things that you could then um, click on, listen to, and get an idea of what a particular podcast particularly is. So if I click on the paranormal podcast here, open it up, okay, um, these are different episodes, okay? So each one of these episodes I could play and listen to it, um, and your podcast would be the same thing. You would have a list of all the ones that you've recorded and you've uploaded. You can see that they are up to 551. Um, that is not what I would expect you to do. Um, Okay, so once you look at this and you say, yes, this is for me, I think this is really cool. Um, I would suggest that you start with something like Spreaker. Um, Spreaker allows you to do a free platform for a podcast and you sign up for it and you can do a 15 minute podcast every day. Um, you can store up to five hours worth of podcasts, which if you're doing 15 minutes episodes, is, should be plenty to do for your Genius Hour project for the year. Um, and all of this is for free. Okay, um, you'll be able to do chats and all sorts of things, do an embedded player. So if you wanted to link it to your blog and embed your podcasts in your blog, you could. Um, and like I said, it's free. But there are a ton of other podcasting programs that you can use um, for free as well. If you go over to Buzzsprout, Buzzsprout is another um, one that offers a podcasting platform for free. They only offer two hours worth of hosting, but I'm gonna play this video real quick so you can get a general idea about um, what their software might look like as well. Hi, and welcome to Buzzsprout. In this one minute video, I'm gonna show you how you can launch a podcast today. Once you sign up for an account, we'll start on the podcast settings page. This is where we can give your podcast a title, description, and some artwork. Once we've saved those details, it's time to upload our first episode. Just click Upload Episode to start the simple process. While you're giving your episode a title and description, Buzzsprout is automatically applying the appropriate ID3 tags and optimizing your file all in the background. As soon as the conversion finishes, your episode is immediately published to your RSS feed. Now that your episode's live, we're ready to start promoting your podcast. Most probably will help you get your podcast into the top directories like iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher. You also get access to customizable embed players, the visual soundbite, and statistics to help you grow your podcast. Just click Get Started to sign up for a free account and start podcasting today. All right, so some of the things that you might notice on this particular thing was that you're limited not only in terms of how long you can store, like how much room you have to store your um, podcast, but also that they're only good for 90 days and then they're deleted. So I'd really recommend that you look at this, you look at Spreaker, and you look at just other sort of free podcasts that might be available um, for education because there is a ton of them. Hey, and pick one that works for you.